During the time that John Smith was using the Agola Plains area for agriculture, he purchased an elephant. One story has him purchasing that elephant from an Indian trader, and naming the elephant Tommy. Another, more likely story, is that Smith purchased the elephant in 1854 from a Mr. T. Bentley, the licensee from the Cremorne Hotel in Unley. Bentley was facing court charges over the mistreatment of the elephant and wanted to get him off his hands. The elephant, named Jumbo, was only five years of age at the time, and as an elephant's lifespan is much the same as humans, Jumbo was a playful youngster. Bentley had put Jumbo on display in his tea gardens next to the hotel, or used him for pulling a plough. However, Jumbo often wandered the district, getting into trouble pulling washing off the line, or playing with water. The reason Bentley had been called to court was that Jumbo had picked up a trunk of wet plaster and sprayed builders working on the hotel. With this, they chased him and hit him with their shovels. On the 24th of May 1855, the Register newspaper makes note of the elephant's arrival at Smithfield. It is uncertain what Smith used Jumbo for, but it is possible that he was used to build dams and divert Smith's Creek. Smith's son, also named John, remembers leading Jumbo to and fro to raise and lower buckets to draw water from the well. He was also put to work to pull a plough, and even though he did both jobs well, he was too slow and Smith sold him in 1855 to Mr. Matthews, licensee of the Jepps Cross Hotel, for £300. The Matthews family renamed Jumbo to Tommy. Matthews used Tommy for giving people rides, dislodging bogged vehicles, and in log pulling races against bullocks. Sadly, Tommy died at just age nine, after being left out on a cold and rainy night in 1858.